What is up everybody? I just wanted to make a guide to the best Ghost of Tabor settings so you can hit the ground running and dominate in your first raids. When calibrating your height, I would suggest that you calibrate seated even if you're playing standing. Uh, it allows you to press the left analog stick to crouch. There is one issue that I know doing this which would be that if you crouch in real life while you're playing the game, it does bring this menu back up. Um, if you're in a fight and you crouch behind a corner not using the analog stick, it will bring this up and it makes it to where you can't do anything. The next setting that I would like to talk about would be virtual gun stock. It is very beneficial, but it does cause a couple of issues. And those would be extreme angles like left, right, up or down. Whenever you're aiming, it makes it harder to hit those shots. Um, if you're more capable of snapping on target or you don't have any issues with that i wouldn't turn this setting on but if you have a problem with leveling your gun out whenever you go aiming in normal stance then i would suggest that you turn it on another big one is going to be head base movement or hand base movement i think hand base movement is going to cause a lot of issues when that fight or flight kicks in you're not going to be thinking about where your hands are at your head is always going to go where you think you need to go so it would be better in my opinion just to turn on head based movement you won't have to worry about if you get into a gunfight thinking about where your hands are you can just turn your head turn your body you're good to go i would almost guarantee especially when you're new to this game if you have hand based movement on it's going to get you killed the next setting is going to be turning in my opinion smooth is the best um, there's one good reason for that and that is if you're jumping if I go to jump around a corner and I bump the analog stick left or right my character is gonna snap at whatever degree that is 45 degrees is a big difference if I'm jumping around a corner and I know where that person is if I snap 45 degrees I'm not gonna be able to get back on target fast enough and they're gonna see you before you see them and they're gonna fucking slaughter you there is one caveat to this setting and that is gonna be comfort if you're not used to VR games and you get motion sickness very easily, the setting is going to make you sick very quickly. Um, if you can handle it, I would suggest that you turn it on, otherwise leave it off. This next setting is pretty important too, it's going to be grip thresholds. Um, the first one grip thresholds is going to be whenever you're grabbing. You want this to be as low as possible, so whenever you press that button, even the slightest amount, it's going to grab. The release threshold, you can leave that at default or lower it a bit if you feel like it. The main thing this is going to help with is going to be grabbing things, especially looting. The only issue that I find with having it as low as possible is going to be that sometimes you grab shit you don't want to grab. Uh, there'll be times where I crouch down to open a drawer up and instead of opening the drawer, I grab the gun off my belt. It is quite annoying, but once you get the hang of it and get over that, it makes it a lot easier. This next setting is going to be hand pitch rotation. And this is going to allow you to uh, adjust your normal stance. So whenever you aim, without thinking about it, you just bring your gun up to your face. Um, it's going to allow you to adjust whether the sights are on target or not whenever you aim. The best thing to do is just to do it multiple times over and over and over again and kind of get a feel for where your gun is landing whenever you're just normally sticking your hands up. Do it multiple times. Maybe do it 10, 15, 20 times whenever you're, whenever you're adjusting it. And then to kind of figure that out it allows you to adjust the rotation of your hand up or down to compensate for the way that your hands are normally. And you can get it to where your natural stance is going to be on target every single time you pull your hand up. Um, obviously, that's very important in any gunfight because you want to be able to snap on somebody as fast as possible. You don't want anybody to have the upper hand on you. And this is going to allow you to do that every single time. So practice this over and over and over and over and over again and so you get it perfect one quick tip would be to not close your eyes either one of them whenever you aim if you have both eyes open you can see the target from both eyes it makes it way easier to snap on target for me whenever i'm focused down range and i'm looking at the weapon with my right eye it does appear to be two weapons in front of me the one that's on the left hand side is the one that you need to focus on and keep the other eye down range. This is harder said than done, but with practice, you will dominate your opponents. If you appreciate the video, remember all the normal YouTube shit, like, comment, subscribe,
and thank you.